All right, now, as we look here at the side of the thigh, there's some detail that I want to get rid of. I don't want to have to continue all of this all the way down through the side of the leg. So I'm going to look for a way, let's turn off saw selection, that I can join this stuff up without continuing everything all the way down the side. So as I'm looking here, if I join these two edges with these two edges, what I'll end up with is one, two, three, and a fourth edge here. So this is actually the perfect thing to do. So I've got room right here that now as I bridge with a single segment, I end up with another quad right over here. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna go to my border tool, select that open border and cap it. So again, that ends up as a quad right here. So again, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna leave the sub object, I'm gonna grab my relax tool, I'm just gonna relax that region just a little bit to soften up that transition. So again, what that really allows me to do is to have a nice kind of loop right around that hip, which actually is really good structurally for what we wanna do with the mesh, but it also allows me to transition out some of the detail that we've got in there. So I don't have to have so much detail running all the way down through the side of the leg. But I also need to start looking at how this is going to have to be subdivided at least twice to give me a bit more ability. So now if I flow connect, eh, let's just flow connect right there. And then we're going to flow connect above it. So again, what that allows me to do is create bridges across here. So we're going to go on right up here as well. And I like using Flow Connect rather than just Connect because Flow Connect tries to understand the volume of the mass that I'm subdividing and adds in the detail where it makes sense. So now if I grab all four of those, I see that I'm actually not running exactly what I want. So let's start down here. Let's bridge these. So now that I've got my six edges selected, I'm gonna use bridge, and we're gonna end up with just a single edge in between, which works pretty nicely here. So we'll okay that, and I'm gonna grab a vertex right down here, and we're gonna open this up just a little bit. So I wanna kinda of keep a little bit of separation there. And then up here, as we look at this, we see that we don't have all the structure that we need. I've got three edges here and two edges here. So the most logical place to add one is going to be right here, where I can also have a flow connect that keeps all of these more aligned with where I want them. Now I'm gonna take these vertices and I'm gonna turn on edge constraint and I'm just gonna move them up. By using my edge constraint, what that does is forces those vertices to stay on the edges. Rather than just moving them physically straight up in the world, they're moving up, but they're staying confined to the edges that they currently were on. So now I have the ability to bridge here and have a nice smooth continuous mesh across the side of the body there. And again, if we look at that with the turbo smooth on, and we feel like we need to soften that up a bit more, we can always go in and use the relax tool. So now we need to think about how we're gonna join things up across the front of the mesh here. Now here, rather than use flow connect, we're gonna use the connect tool, which is gonna allow us to add a few more segments. So what that's gonna do is it'll let me kind of figure out how many segments I'm gonna to need to join across here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Now here I've got one, two, three, four. So we're gonna need one more segment to allow these to all kind of connect together. And if we ever have to, we can always just take those two. And if we needed to, control backspace will remove them and remove the vertices that were there. So we wanna keep those, but just so we understand, if we ever need to, we can actually remove things. So now at the top of the hip here, these two tendons or these two muscles are actually gonna connect together. So I'm gonna bridge there with a segment in the middle. That segment in the middle is gonna let me kind of connect this other muscle mass in here. So we're gonna grab this lower vertex, we're gonna kind of push that back into the mesh a bit. And that's gonna help create the definition 
between those two muscles. And we're gonna take the vertex here and the one here, and we're gonna weld them together. Since weld by itself didn't work, I've gotta use my weld dialog box, and I can up that threshold. As I up the threshold, I see the two vertices snap together. So now we're gonna look at joining these two edges. So that'll actually weld up pretty nicely. So we're gonna use a bridge again. So we can bridge there, let's undo that. My bridge has two segments set, so we're gonna remove that and okay it. Now let's look and see how big the other edge is here. And that's not too bad, but I can grab this vertex and we'll move it up a bit to help get this edge and this edge to bridge a little bit more nicely. So now as we bridge there, again, what we're doing is helping to create that definition between those muscles. Because as you can see from the image here, the sartorius muscle and the gracilis muscle and the extensor fasciae, or the tensor fasciae, have a pretty good kind of dip between them as they overlap the muscle mass here, the rectus femoris. So we want to make sure that we're helping define that and keep everything as kind of beefy as possible. So now as we move down through, we're going to want to grab this set of edges here, and we're going to want to add a few connections in there as well. But we don't need four. Let's look at two. So with two, we have a nice, even, uniform set of edges that we can add in between. So now we'll look at bridging there and bridging here. So again, as we get all of this stuff kind of working together, we're gonna to look at those and we're gonna add just a single connection. So Flow Connect's gonna work really nicely there. As well as here. And then we've got more in the middle. There we go. That will bridge and bridge. So now as all these pieces are coming together really nicely, we're gonna start having minor issues where we're gonna take this vertex and we're gonna weld it. So we're gonna target weld that one over to here and that one up to there. Now, that is not the ideal connection, but if we undo, we actually move this back in, what we'll see is that we don't really have the space to connect this together the way we want. Now, what we could do is if we undo even that connection, we can bring this down a bit along with this. And we can start to look for ways that we can weld this together or bridge. So we could take this edge and bridge it to this edge. And that would work, but we're not gonna always end up with kind of the best geometry. But for now, we can just do that. And what's gonna happen is that when we bridge here to here, if I can select both of those, let's make this full screen so we get a little bit more space. Now we can bridge here also. And we're gonna end up, I mean, it'll work, but we could probably clean the geometry up a bit more by not bridging everywhere and kind of keeping some stuff a little bit more open. But that ought to work for now. So now as we come down through here, we can bridge these. So you'll see we'll have to be able to bridge. We'll have the ability to bridge here and here as well. So now in the next one, we'll actually look at dealing with this connection and some connections on the inner part of the thigh as well.